Hey guys, uh, my name is Ronan. I'm a manufacturing engineer in Metronic um, in the Parkmore site in Gala. I'm from Gala myself, from a town called Montpellier. Um, my favourite STEM subject in school was chemistry. Hi, I'm Sarah and I work in the Analytical Services Lab at Medtronic Parkmore. I'm from Dublin but moved to Galway about three years ago now to work at Medtronic. My favourite subjects in school were biology and English, so when it came to choosing courses for the CAO I was torn between arts and science. I decided to go down the science route and studied medicinal chemistry at UCD. Hello, my name is Liam Hines. I'm the site director here in Merview Galway for Medtronic. I'm originally from Galway and I went to college here in Galway in NUIG. My favourite subjects in school were maths and physics. A typical day for me as an R&D engineer uh, involves a combination of working in the prototype lab, test lab, build lab, or even just at my desk on my computer, uh, planning and designing how I'm going to execute on my goals. Um, with my new project, one of the new, th uh, new things that I'm responsible for is gathering and making sense of customer input. So our customers are mainly doctors who will potentially use our device. This helps the business and engineers to design and develop a device which best need, uh, meets the needs of the physician and patient. What I find about life as a manufacturing engineer is that no two days are the same. But our days usually tend to center around our computer skills. For example, we use Microsoft Excel for a lot of our documentation, uh, Microsoft Teams for our meetings and PowerPoints for our presentations. As well as this, we use 3D drawing software such as SOLIDWORKS uh, to design and improve a lot of the equipment that's used in the manufacturing of our medical devices. Uh, this helps to improve the quality of our medical devices that help the lives of so many people every day. In Medtronic Parkmore, we design, manufacture and test medical devices for cardiovascular patients. Here in the analytical lab, we're focused on the pharmaceutical component in drug combination devices. So we look at how much drug is there, how quickly it releases, and make sure the device is safe to use in a patient. What I love about my current role is that I get to work with a very talented group of individuals every day, and we get to create medical devices that make a real difference to people's lives. The work we are doing here in Merview is making a very significant difference in the world today particularly now in the time of a global pandemic, the products that we're producing are helping to save people's lives every single day. So working in Medtronic, you come across a wide range of really skilled people from day to day. Um, they vary from people who are really impressive at a three-dimensional drawing. They help us to design different pieces of tooling and equipment that uh, we implement then on our manufacturing process and they really help to improve the overall quality of our products. Um, you have the guys then who actually materialize these designs uh, in the workshop. They can do really impressive stuff with uh, machines and <clears throat> uh, different materials. They really tie the whole thing together. Biomedical engineers in Medtronic uh, would collaborate with some of the top doctors in the world to come up with new devices which help save the patients' lives. And as an R&D engineer, I work very closely with engineers and scientists from other functions such as quality, regulatory, marketing, manufacturing and packaging, and all of us work together to ensure we get the best possible device to the patient. I think a lot of young girls can be put off studying engineering because they've been conditioned to think it's a male-dominated profession. And while that may have certainly been true in the past, I think as a community, we are making major headway into improving upon that perception and to open up the avenues for both boys and girls. STEM initiatives have helped create awareness of the lack of female representation and subsequently an unconscious bias that STEM is not for women. Um, by encouraging both young boys and girls into STEM, we can create a more balanced ecosystem and slowly remove some of the stigma associated um, with these roles. 
Seeing female role models in STEM industry gives young girls the confidence um, and me personally as well, um, the confidence that they need to trust in their own abilities and succeed in their careers. If I was to give any advice to younger people that are interested in getting into the STEM field, um, it would be to get as much exposure as you can to the industry. Uh, nothing beats hands-on uh, learning and if you've got opportunities throughout the course of your transition year to do work experience in a medical device company or a company that you feel like that you'd like to work in in the future, uh, that would definitely be one of the better ways to do it. My opinion of STEM has changed very significantly since I was a teenager. Uh, I've come to realise just how important STEM subjects are and how foundational they are in creating the, the skills and knowledge that allows us to create medical devices. So Medtronic offer a really wide uh, variety of different medical devices, but the one that I probably admire the most is the one that I work most closely with myself. Um, it's known as Inveor. Um, I have an example of one here. So as you can see, uh, it's a catheter, it's a transcatheter uh, deployment system that's used to treat a disease known as aortic stentosis. My favourite line of Medtronic products would uh, probably have to be the pacemakers because Medtronic uh, had the world's first pacemaker right with Earl Bakken and they've kept that legacy going with the micro leadless pacemaker, also a first of its kind and also the world's uh, smallest pacemaker. We also test Micra, so this is Micra here. It's the smallest pacemaker in the world at the moment. And Micra is different to other pacemakers in that it's implanted directly into the heart. So traditionally pacemakers are underneath the skin with leads entering into the heart. Micra has a pharmaceutical component as well. So if you can see that white dot there, there is a steroid component in that that helps to prevent inflammation when the Micra is implanted into the heart. The Medtronic technology that I admire the most is the neurovascular stent technology. Mm -hmm. The neurovascular stent technology allows surgeons to non-invasively remove clots from patients' brains. So an innovator that would have inspired me is uh, Alexander Graham Bell. And his story is one that I actually heard recently. Um, What's interesting about him is that both of his parents were actually deaf. Uh, they were born deaf and when uh, Alexander Graham Bell was a child, uh, it encouraged him to develop his understanding of different listening technologies. And this eventually allowed him to develop the world's first telephone that of course is used worldwide today. To be honest, there isn't any one famous scientist or engineer or innovator that has inspired me. I think what inspires me the most is the passion, commitment and dedication of the uh, Medtronic's employees worldwide and my colleagues and friends right here in Galway. It's their energy and enthusiasm which kind of resonates with me and inspires me to go above and beyond.